In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can simulate epidemiological models, specifically the SAR model. The SAR model have a system of first order differential equations uh, for uh, three variables, uh, where the S, I, and R are the functions of time representing susceptible, infected, and recovered class, respectively. Also, the uh, parameter alpha and mu uh, are proportional constants such that the alpha and mu are greater than zero. So uh, our intention in this tutorial is to see how we can simulate a SAR model uh, given the stated conditions like we have here. Now let's open the Python uh, so that we can solve or simulate this uh, epidemiological model. Okay, now let's import our basic ODE int function uh, from the SkiPy integrate. So from uh, skipy dot integrate uh, ODE int, and after importing the ODE int, also I will need the numpy um, as np, and then after let's define our function. Uh, our function is the derivative of the vector uh, function. Uh, which is a uh, vector of uh, three uh, variables, uh, S, I, and R. So we define the function uh, the u uh, as uh, a function of the vector u and the uh, independent variable t. So this uh, function should return Okay, it should return. It should return uh, the following functions. So we define the functions uh, uh, respectively as arranged. Uh, the first uh, uh, equation is the first derivative of the uh, susceptible class. So what we do, we have minus alpha, minus alpha. Uh, multiplied to susceptible. Susceptible uh, in the uh, vector u is the first entry. So we call it uh, the u of, of 0, that is the first entry, then multiply by uh, infected, and the infected in vector u is the second entry. Then uh, we define the, uh, the second uh, equation, which is the derivative for the infected class. And this is the alpha. Okay, we have the alpha multiplied by susceptible class, which is the u of the first entry. Then we multiply by i, which is the u of this uh, second entry and then we subtract by mu okay times uh, infected which is the u of the second entry and then after that we have to define the last equation which is the uh, mu okay multiply by uh, the i which is the second entry element of the vector u. So uh, that is one. So we can expand here so that you can see our equations. Okay, and uh, reduce the font a little bit. So we have these uh, functions defined into an array uh, is the function of the du dt. So after defining our function, then Let's uh, state the initial conditions. So initial conditions of our vector u, u0, is equal to, uh, remember, you can see the initial condition on your right-hand side. The initial condition for the susceptible is uh, given as 1,500, uh, okay? Then we have initial condition for infected is 1, and we have initial condition of uh, recovery, okay? After stating the initial condition of u, 
then we have to uh, state other conditions like the proportions alpha and e, mu. So we have to state the alpha is given. So alpha, okay, alpha comma mu uh, should be equal to 0 0.005 according to this question and the mu is 0 0.1 okay what else we need to state okay the time interval for our integration so the time interval uh, the t is the time intervals from numpy dot range we have uh, lower boundary remember all our function uh, st uh, they are starting or the initial condition start with the time uh, equal to zero so the lower boundary of integration is zero if t represent the number of days let's start from zero up to 60 days and see uh, uh, what will happen for this time interval for time steps 0 0.01 and after that now let's find the respectively uh, uh, solutions for the uh, susceptible infected and recovered after integration that means we are going to find the respective use coefficients okay coefficients uh, from the ODE int function that means we are going to integrate our function and our function is the uh, du with respect to uh, dt and we have the initial condition for u which is u0 and with the respective time ts so now here uh, we have uh, integrated our three equations and now we can find or we can simulate our model but to simulate because each equation represents its own solution then from this use we remember we have three solutions the first one is for susceptible the second one is for infected and the, uh, the third one is for uh, recovery group so what we do uh, in order to plot uh, those three solutions on the same graph uh, what we do is that we have to call uh, all uh, three variables separately so the susceptible we are going to have the uh, graph for susceptible for infected and for uh, recover and these three uh, uh, solution for susceptible infected and recovery uh, the susceptible is obtained from the u functions and we take all rows of the u vector or array but we consider the first column and the uh, infected solution we take uh, all rows of the use okay all rows of the use uh, array but we are taking the second entry okay and for the a recover group we are going to take all rows of use that is the third entry which is two and now we are done we have uh, extracted all three uh, solution separately from this main uh, vector or the uh, or solution of the uh, system of differential equation so now let's now plot uh, these solutions or the graph for these three kind of solution that we have obtained from here now uh, let's import the mat, uh, matplot library as plt and let's configure the size of the uh, sh or the shape of the uh, figure that we are going to uh, create that is figure so after configuring our figure now let's plot the three solutions of our ODE differential equations. So we start by plt uh, dot plot. Okay, we are going to plot uh, the t's against susceptible. Okay, 
I guess susceptible uh, with the uh, with uh, other additional information in this function. Uh, let's uh, command the line width, okay, the line width uh, to be uh, 2.5 and also let's assign uh, other entry here, the label of this graph, okay, the label to be susceptible, okay, so let's name this graph as susceptible. Then the other graph, let's copy this one and uh, edit, okay. The second graph is for uh, infected, okay, and the label is infected, okay. Infected. And the third uh, graph will be for recover. And this label, we change it to recover. Okay. And after that, because we have labeled inside the plot function, we have to call the legend. So it displays the labels for each uh, graph that we have labeled inside the plot function. And the legend, let's uh, uh, command the font size of the legend. Okay. So then we are done, plt.show, and then we are done, and let's run and see the solution of this model. So let's click the plot. Okay, there is an error, figure size, okay, figure size is here, okay, not figure size, it's fig size. Let's see, omit this one, and run it again. Wow, what kind of this graph is? Okay, let's check. There might be an error somewhere. Oh, it's here. Uh, here is, we, this is the uh, i, because this is alpha times s times i, and i is the second entry, and it's supposed to be one. So let's collect that and run it again. Okay, we have perfect um, simulation of this model. So this is how you can simulate your uh, SAR model or any uh, kind of other epidemiological model that you can follow this uh, just few steps and simple steps depending on the number or system of equation that you have. So this is all what you can do on a simulation of epidemiological model, especially SAR model, and how is it is. Uh, you can plot and have your output. You can see you have three graphs for uh, the uh, uh, blue one is for susceptible and this uh, orange one is for infected and the green one is for recovery. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. Also uh, click on the bell so that you can be uh, notified when once we upload our new video. Thank you and goodbye.